Craig D. Lounsbrow said, An end is only a beginning in disguise. It's day 30 of NaNoWriMo, and we are putting the final touches on your story. If you're still on track to finish your 50,000 word novel by the end of today, you'll start today with 46,676 words at least in your manuscript. You'll add another 1,667 words today and finish out today with 50,000 words in your manuscript and a NaNoWriMo win. And if you've been following along with my writing prompts, you will also finish out with a completed story. So. Today, we are putting in the final closing scene for your story. This will be a final glimpse of your main character's new situation. If they won, they go into their hobbit hole and close the door and put their feet up and smoke their pipe in peace. Or if they hold hands with their beloved and walk off into the sunset. Or if they were defeated, maybe they gaze up at the house on the hill of their opponent and think sad thoughts about how that could have been them. Or whatever the final image of your book needs to be to bring closure for the reader and help them feel like they have completed the journey. Now that doesn't mean you have to wrap up all of the loose ends. If you're planning a sequel, think about what loose ends could you still leave without making the reader feel cheated of the final ending of the story. It still needs to have a satisfactory conclusion even if you're planning to move the story forward in a next book. If this is a standalone book and you don't plan to continue it into a series, consider how can you give the reader a sense that although this story has ended, the character's life continues on beyond the end and into their future with their new life the way that it has fallen out because they have experienced this story. So, 1,667 words drawing the final curtain on this story. Make sure that you like and subscribe and I will see you around.